This is the Samsung 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's two times better than the previously reviewed power bank on this channel. And today I'm gonna to show you three things that you must look for when you're making a buying decision on a power bank. Now the first question you must ask yourself when buying a power bank is, is this device compatible with my device or my devices? Now in the case of this Samsung power bank, it has two USB-C charging ports and it has one USB-A charging port, which means it can charge three devices. And in terms of power delivery, it can charge at up to 25 watt fast charging or super fast charging as Samsung calls it. So if you're looking for a fast charger, this might be the power bank for you. But unfortunately, if you have a phone that does wireless charging of any kind, this power bank does not offer any wireless charging. So that might be a negative on that side. The second question you must ask yourself is, is this power bank safe or protected? And this question might be surprising for most people. Now, this power bank offers a technology called the anti-short circuit mechanism. Most power banks are killed because of moisture that enters into one of the USB ports and then they short circuit and then you start seeing messages on your phone that say your phone is charging the power bank instead of the power bank charging your phone. That's when the short circuit happens. And this power bank, unlike the previous power bank that we reviewed on this channel, offers that anti-short circuit mechanism. And most power banks simply don't offer that mechanism. So this might be a power bank you're looking to buy. The third question you must ask when buying a power bank is, can I afford this device? And that question will always be relative. But in my case, this power bank came at 1000 Rand, which was affordable for me because I wanted to avoid buying the fast charging Samsung power brick. So I ended up buying this device. So this device offers me both charging when I'm at home and charging when I'm traveling. And this can charge up to three of my devices. So I usually charge my phone. I charge my DJI Mini 3 drone and it's remote on it. And any other device that uses USB-C, I can charge on this power bank. And I don't need to buy that Samsung fast charging power brick. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing if you like the type of content that we produce here. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting so that YouTube knows to share it with other people who are just like you.